What's up vlog people? Uh, we're doing the vlog. It is the week that we do the vlog that we do every week. Um, as always, I'd like to remind you, we do time code these because not everything in this is for everybody. You may want to jump around. You may want to jump back and forth. I'm having a bit of a final destination moment. Not terrible, but uh, <laughs> um, you know, see little gaps in the timeline down there, or you can open up the description, see a big list of blue numbers, jump wherever you want to go. But hey, it is June 19th, 2023. It is 5.47 p.m. We just hit the booze shop and uh, we're on our way to grocery shop and I will throw you over to dad in a minute because I know all, some of y'all, especially you OGers, like him. I don't, I don't get it, but no. Yeah, me either. <laughs> um, but we got some cool stuff in this vlog. I honestly don't remember what I've cooked for this vlog. It's been so long ago. I'll figure out when I edit later. I'm sure we'll make a cocktail. Um, Mary and I might do a little taste test. I'm going to the grocery store. I think I might find some stuff. We went and saw SmackDown Live, so I've got some of that stuff to show you. I think I have one bit of dessert. I meant to finish for more of my dinner yesterday and it was just too good and I forgot. And, uh, uh, oh, and we're gonna talk about our wrestling experience. We're gonna review uh, The Flash. Um, with no spoilers, of course. And, I don't know. Maybe there's more stuff. You'll find out pretty much when I do. No, I guess I'll find, I'm in from the future. Anyways, the important thing. What you smoking, Daddy John? Uh, smoking a punch signature. Ooh. Punch. That's my signature. Punch. All right. Well, uh, we're gonna do some grocery shopping, and I'm gonna go home, and I'm gonna cook some more stuff for even further future vlogs. So, woohoo! Woohoo! Oh, oh yeah, we're gonna give you a, a, a vacation update. A lot more planning happened. A lot of things went on sale. A lot of excitement. A lot of money. A lot of me learning to start figuring out all the ways to get sky miles for the future. <laughs> all right. Signature punch. So I totally forgot I was vlogging this, but uh, we got the sous vide machine set up. Lots of water in there. We're going for a, somewhere a little low, just a tiny bit over medium rare. So we're gonna go at 135. I don't know why the timer is running. I'll, I'll reset the timer. Um, I don't know that I did the best seal job on these. They did get slightly oxidized. I don't know how you can tell, but not terribly. So we're gonna pop these in. It needs at least one and a half hours, but can go for four. Um, so I'll put those in just a second. And then I stripped a whole bunch of fresh ros rosemary into a food processor. I'm gonna chunk up that garlic a bit. I'm gonna put some uh, unsalted butter. Start working on the compound butter. I'll try to show you more of that in a minute. But right now, let's look at getting these steaks in this water and see how this is gonna work. I can already tell that I need the big bag thing or the big tub thing, but at least we are gonna get those under there. Just push it down with a spoon or something. You want to make sure they are definitely submerged. Ideally, I don't think I want them stacked on each other though. So ooh, that water is warm. Okay. We okay here? Or, mm. Well, hopefully that's not a problem. I'm gonna make fuck this up. If I do, I'll make burgers. All right, let's uh reset the timer. Oh shit, shit, shit. Okay. Timer. Oh, this is probably easier in the app. Okay, hold on. Shit. So I guess that's one hour. I didn't bother setting up the app. Oh, I'll go to 99. Let's take it down to 90 so we know at least. Why am I doing it like that? All right. And then I think I get that. Did I just set it for 90 hours? I might have just set it for, I think I set it for 90 hours. Let's reset that. <laughs> How do you? Oh shit, I didn't mean to hit the play button. Hmm. You know what, whatever, we'll just use old fashioned timer. Echo, set timer for 90 minutes. Starting now. 
Echo, set timer for four hours. Woo, wahoo! Four hours, starting now. Okay, and uh, it's not gonna be the prettiest steak when it comes out of there. We are gonna end up seasoning and searing it. But uh, other than that, we should be good. Although it is keeping out water. I guess it's staying pretty close to temperature. So now let me come back and show you a little bit more of this butter. It is, by the way, 3.59 p.m. on Friday, May something, 26th, I wanna say. And uh, yeah. And I really hope it didn't show off this address of this piece of mail that's been laying where it shouldn't be laying forever. All right. <laughs> okay, so I just kinda chunked up my garlic roughly just to help it along a little bit. Same with the butter, just chunked it up. I'm glad I got this smaller food processor for a job like this. I think, I just gotta remember how to attach it. There we go. And we're just gonna go ahead and give this up some chops so we can get it roughed out here. pretty good. Uh, it's hard to do this one handed y'all. Sorry. All right, so let's get the butter in. And I did have a little more Tillamook unsalted. Okay. I'm talking to the vlog, Mary, sorry. <laughs> Just gonna throw a whole stick in there, I suppose. Yeah, I remembered I was supposed to. Ah. Uh, there we go. Oh, sorry. Guess I need to go fetch you some more paper towels. Uh, well, it wouldn't hurt, but I can get them too. So, all right, now let's just try to blend this all together. I'm not locked in apparently. There we go. I need to just melt a little. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to kind of work it in there. All right, let's see. Can I do like? Hi, Mary. Hi. Didn't mean to put you on camera, but you're standing right there. <laughs> it smells good. Yeah, they see you eating that popcorn, girl. Should have used my better thing for this. I mean, it's kind of working. We may just let this melt down some, sit out room temperature for a bit. Maybe I should have cut the butter down a little more. I mean, it is working. It's just the butter's still a little too cold. The more I can break that up, I think the better. I really should have let this sit out a while and get room temperature. It smells good. sit a little while we'll come back and do some more okay so that took a little uh just a few times just pushing it down letting it warm up a little bit and whatnot so let's set up some cling wrap come on now there we go and we gotta get it out of the thing you might have better luck if you're using a, a better one too this is obviously my cheapy little one. So you can see that it, you know, it got pretty well blended and creamy. So it's just a matter of getting as much of it out and onto here as we can. And I do want this 
getting it off the thing. Of course, I'm gonna use the back of the knife, not the serrated edge. <laughs> be a little bit easier once we can get the blade element out of there. Of course, you are probably just going to leave a little behind. Just depends on how uh, lazy you feel like being or how much you want to get in there. I have so much going on, I don't mind leaving some behind because I'm gonna be a little lazy and I don't need that much of the butter. Although, wouldn't mind maybe some, uh, I don't have time to make my own bread from scratch, but I can get some of that take and bake stuff from the store. Cause this would probably just be a good fucking butter to spread on that. And obviously it's coming out of here fairly easy, especially now that it's warmed up a bit. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna say that's good. The rest can just be a casualty of doing it easier than by hand. Cause yeah, you could just get your butter real soft and blend all this by hand. That was actually a little bit faster despite having to open it like 10 times and keep pushing the butter down, but that also may be because I'm using a cheaper one of those. We'll push all that to the side. Put you off to the side. And then, see if we can do this. Ah, I didn't mean to actually get my hand in there, but try to use the plastic to kind of shape it a little. Make it as much of a log as we can here. It's fighting me to untwist, but okay, there we have it. And we're just gonna put it back in the fridge for a bit. So confirm back up and we can get slices. Woohoo! Okay, it is 7.25. We have about 35 minutes before I cannot sous vide that meat anymore. Uh, but we need to get the asparagus going. I mean, it looks okay in there. I'm not exactly sure what to expect. That might be a failure. It is first time. So for asparagus, we need about an ounce of Parmesan cheese. Uh, I got a few bricks to work from here. Apparently I just keep buying new bricks and I don't label shit because I'm stupid. I mean, I need to start vacuum sealing this, but uh, let's come down. This shouldn't take too long or too much effort. I mean, you know, grating cheese or whatever. So I'm just gonna eyeball. I don't mind a lot of extra cheese. That is probably plenty. Parmigiano Reggiano. Actually, I'm gonna do something here so I can salvage more of that. Shit right here, you just gotta take a little snort. Look at that, look at me being kind of smart and kind of efficient. So that should be plenty of cheese. We've got some prosciutto that we might need to split, apparently, according to the thing. Uh, let me get with my asparagus here. 
We got about a pound, I would assume. I wanna take those, I wanna rinse all these off and I'm gonna take the ends off a little bit here. So we're gonna work on that. This is a uh, Michigan asparagus. Right? Don't. Uh, all right. Give them a little rinse off. Try not to drop anything in the floor. I'm not even sure we'll actually use all of this. So, because some of these really tiny pieces, some of the really thin boys ain't gonna do a lot of good. There's my towel, there's my towel. Uh, let's go ahead and start preheating the oven. Oh shit, I gotta move this thing. So glad we're starting to reorganize our kitchen. I think it's 425. I'm gonna double check that while I move this somewhere. Oh yeah, man. <laughs> I'm taking on too much right now. There's too much happening. I don't like being on a timetable. Yeah, 425. Okay. Let's get a bunch of pieces of asparagus. I'm going to kind of pick through here. Just find some of the ones I think will be best for wrapping. So I feel like I've got enough for a couple portions. Uh, fun fact. I believe the first time I ever had prosciutto wrapped asparagus with a balsamic drizzle was on Mary and I's first date. So that's cool. All right. We had it as an appetizer, of course. I feel like that's almost a serving. So yeah, this is the glamorous part. I don't usually show you this part, honestly, but I just kind of was like, I need to start filming. <laughs> maybe tomorrow, maybe at the cookout, I'll use some of this other asparagus, just throw it on the grill. That was too curvy. It's kind of thin at the top, but hey. And this recipe says use a pound. I think we already mentioned that, but it's like, I don't know. I'm just, I'm gonna, I'm gonna eyeball this thing. Be like a real chef, man. <laughs> Give me a couple more. You look pretty good. And, you look like a nice one. Okay, so I've kind of got about half of it right here. Let's just get these ends off. I'm not worried about a uniform size here. Mary's laundry, I'm hearing tap, tap, tap. talk while I do some of this stuff because I'm really trying to think like five steps ahead and normally I'm good at thinking and talking but yeah that's gonna be enough for us mm. I'm glad you could kind of see that because I just realized I didn't really show you all right now I think I'm gonna toss this in a little oil salt pepper mm-hmm 
is with olive oil, salt and pepper, toss well to coat. Then we'll work the prosciutto, okay. A little olive oil drizzle. Don't want them swimming, but you can always add a little more. They do give me measurements. I'm again just kind of eyeballing. Seems about right. I hope one, two, three, four, five, six. Wait, hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Fucking perfection. All right, let's see what we're doing for prosciutto here. As soon as I can figure out how to get in the package. I think that's my way in. There we go. looks that smells so good so let's see how big is a piece ah it's very delicate hmm I'm trying to figure out how I want to go about this I guess yeah like that so that's two Three, four, five, six. Maybe we'll do this in a couple batches, I guess. And just be sure. Seven, eight. Better stay out late. Nine, ten. Freddy's back again. All right, we're just gonna kind of go down half. Oh, geez, that's. Hmm. It just tears apart. That's not gonna do it. Shoot. All right, I don't know. I don't know how I wanna handle this. Maybe I should get a serrated knife might do it or just get a better knife skill here. It's really the pieces of fat that are not wanting to separate that well. Not bad, okay, okay. <laughs> sure. Try to make that work. Let me lay these back out nicely so I can get some good cheese going on in these. Play nice. Play nice for Alec. Guess I'll just have to eat that piece. All right, let's get a little cheese going in here. All right, and then we're gonna start seeing if we can actually wrap these sons of bitches. I think I'm doing this wrong. Ah, oh, come on, really? Shit. Yeah, this was the wrong way to cut these. I'll do it more like that. Yeah, that's, that's better. 
That one's just, I'll take that one. <laughs> Get a little extra cheese back in there. Okay. I'm starting too high up on these. Okay. Especially when one's a tall boy, I need to start lower. Okay. This is kind of starting to work. So we'll just continue with that method. So so freaking thin and beautiful. Just like me. Ha ha ha. We all have a good laugh. Anyways, we're getting there. Oh, don't you? Okay. God, I keep starting these way too high up, don't I? Can I, I guess I could just slide down. There you go, smart boy. All right, I'm gonna have to push those in too because clearly I'm not spacing my cheat pan correctly. I'm like fixed for time here. Get another round. Sorry, my 19 minutes. All right. That was preheated. Excellent. Oh boy. My nose is leaking. Not excellent. can't help that some of this prosciutto keeps falling right into my mouth. It's not my fault my mouth is a wonderful target. <laughs> mm. Try to use that for some smaller bits. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna make one that's like thick and double. You know, why not? Who doesn't like thick double? All right, let's see what we can do here. Not bad. Separate, yep, we got us separated. Just like the offspring requests, we gotta keep them separated. Good. And other than the top right here. Oh, oh, got a little bit. There we go, okay. All right. Oh boy. Almost, almost. Here we go, away we go again. All right, trying to move a little faster, but also not hastily. 
so we don't get all wastily. Yeah, honestly, I probably should just, I think I would have preferred just using full pieces of prosciutto on these things. But hey, first time, like, as you know, I tend to follow some kind of recipe and then improve it for my own need be in the future. Those are words, those are words that make some kind of sense to somebody somewhere. Dang, I thought that one was gonna go a little lower. Let's scooch. Did I miscount? No, no I did not, okay. Okay. Almost got it. Yeah, it looks like, well, maybe I'm gonna speak too soon. Let's actually roll this first. Then we'll say what I'm thinking, which is that seemed to roll nicer or it's thicker. job, but whatever. Gets the job done. Okay. Tell me, baby. And we will get to prepping our steaks here shortly. Let's get this in the oven. I think it was for 10 minutes. Ten minutes, check after six to seven. Okay. Into the oven these go. It's 425. Echo, set timer for ten minutes. Wahoo! Now I am gonna Second to... timer, ten minutes. Nice. Give it a little razzle dazzle. Alright, we got a clean knife. Yeah. Get myself a slightly cleaner cutting board. I guess I'll just have to eat that prosciutto. It's not really, it's hardly worth saving. It ain't gonna get thrown away. Alright, flip this to prep our meat. Keep that cheese for seasoning later. Okay. Now, it's been about 13 minutes shy of the four hours that we're allowed to eat this for. I'm gonna just go ahead and turn my machine off. Um, I'm not entirely sure how we wanna handle, uh, you know, moving stuff. I guess just carefully get some tongs. Oop, splatter. Oh, you know, I'm gonna set these in the sink. I guess I kind of want to show them to you though, if I can. So, you know, I don't know. We're gonna cut them on the board. We're gonna cut them open on the board. I just wanted to use the sink to drain because I don't think they're supposed to be, I don't think they're supposed to have like the blood or the juice or the whatever the fuck. <laughs> so I got a feeling these may be kind of fucked. Alright, so let me get them drained. Scissors, let's use this. prettiest, but we kind of knew that would be the case when we pull them out. 
get this other one. squeeze too hard, you don't wanna like lose flavor. Let's take off as much excess moisture as we can. Let's, uh, come on. God damn it, why won't it? All right. Yeah. Yeah. How goes? Uh, apparently not terrible. Theoretically. Theoretically? Mm-hmm. Hmm. These feel correct. Tender, juicy. And mild. Serum, so you ready to do? Yeah, yeah, we're gonna season and serum. Now, theoretically, I was supposed to do the seasoning in the bag, but whatever. God, fuck you, man. Why? <laughs> I need you to move. Depending if I can get this. There we go. Uh, let's see. Uh, All right. Hold on. Uh, what setting on a gas stove do I use to sear steak? High. Medium high. That's what I figured. I've got it on medium high. Uh, okay, we want to get. I might actually. I need. Uh, where's the salt? That's not going to do it. Cabinet. Will you help me and grab that? Uh, kosher, yeah. The natural seas? Nope, kosher. kosher. Oh, no, it's up in the, ah, oh, shit. It's up in the, um, well, like the plastic stuff is over the oven, over the microwave. Uh, okay. Watch out, the No, and he. Oh, you're. Oh, you're getting. I, I got you. Yeah, I'm not telling that to reach yeah. right there. I am not Slender Man. I want him super salty on the outside. I am. I'm used with the concept of somebody sounding something like Slender Man. Going like, here, get that thing off the top shelf. Please, thank you. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, just anywhere you can set it, it's fine. I am wiping my hands off. I should have had a little salt pepper mix already ready to go. Salty bees. Well, I'm trying to get that the way Malone's used to do them. Um. Thank you. Now I'm going to use a little bit of this butter to get the pan started. Then we are going to use some of the compound butter in the cooking. I feel like I may have already let my pan go too long, get too high. Oh good, that's melted into... Awesome. 
No, it's not gonna stop me right now. I'll, I'll deal with that later. <laughs> Let's get about a tablespoon out. All right, don't, don't. Okay, good. Ah, shoot. So this butter firmed up nicely. Let's also get a little oil in there. Let's do a little French butter and oil combo. Let that get warmed up. That's fine. Uh, the songs that I'm using are probably fine. What did I do with this? Okay, they're right here. All right, away we go. Should only take a couple minutes. Oh shit, I need to check my asparagus. Let me check on the asparagus. We're gonna give that a little bit, we're gonna give it a full 10, fuck it. I need to unplug my sous vide. Let's just put this thing. Put the kitties don't think that's a toy. Okay, let me grab a little bit towel. Echo, set timer for Two minutes. Third timer, two minutes, starting now. Gotta clean up my workspace a little bit. Those are already going pretty nice. Uh, which one is that? Echo dismissed. I've lost track on what timer is what, y'all. <laughs> That's not good. Let's okay. of this ready because we're gonna when we flip we're gonna lay it on there I'm gonna assume this next timer is my asparagus timer hmm maybe maybe not actually yeah yeah that probably was the asparagus timer that went off let me check on it Let it go just a little bit longer. We don't want to overcook these steaks because they are cooked. But nope, that needs more of a sear. Honestly, I'm taking my heat up. Because we want to sear more than we really want to cook them. Echo dismiss timer. Alright, here we go. Echo dismiss. gonna have to go with that. That doesn't look bad. That one looks a little better. Echo, set timer for two minutes. Second timer, two minutes, seven minutes.
Oh shit, I need a... Ah! Alright, I'm holding it there because I don't want to worry about it anymore. I need to get a cooling rack. Hopefully that's good. Who knows what they need? A medium cooling rack. Yeah, we can make that work. I'm all over my head again. Echo dismiss timer. Give these sides a bit of a sear. Mmm, that butter. The butter does smell good. Echo dismiss timer. I'm not used to doing this, so you gotta just, you know, bear with me here. These are just about ready to come off. I'm trying to do, I'm trying to do things I've seen on TV. I don't know that they work. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna pull those off the heat and hope they're good. They look cool. Oh shit, that one is coming apart. Literally trying to break in the middle. Please don't break in the middle. It's so tender, shit. Mm, yeah, I'm gonna have to. Again, I know I, I, I'm treating my pans wrong, I know. Let's just put a little thin slab of butter on top of each of these, just to keep, keep the tops melting down juicy. We're obviously gonna put a little more on the plate too, so. All right, okay. We're gonna start building up a plate here. Somewhere. <laughs> Make some room to work. I should have told Mary one minute and then she would have been here in five. <laughs> Yeah, because I'm starting to plate, so. All right, and then, oh no, there's not a lot of this left. I didn't know Mary been really going through this shit. Do we have another one? I want to use this balsamic glaze. Fuck. Oh man. Damn me for not checking my shit. We'll have to make that work. All right. These fancy plates. Let me get uh, some more tongers. Let's get some nice asparagus out for the lady.
That looks pretty good. This is where I really could have stood to uh, put my stuff away as I was working on it. Gonna go ahead and drizzle what we can here. Ooh. Actually, that's about right. And then let's. That steak is gonna be tricky. You know what I'm gonna. Use this to get to these these steaks. Maybe. Shit. God damn it. Ah. Oh no 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 no! Shit shit shit! Fucking hell, man. No. I'm about to make a huge fucking mess here. What you all can't see is I'm trying to get the steaks with a spatula and I was gonna turn it. Oh, that, look at, holy shit. Look at that. Look. And I didn't have my tin foil up on the side, so I was about to drain a whole bunch of steak juice right into the floor. Yep. Let's hit it with just a tiny bit more butter. Just a thin ribbon. And let's put that butter away so it doesn't mess on me. Back in the... Sure. And dinner is served. It looks and smells incredible. All right, let's get y'all some close-ups. My uh, drizzle's kind of drizzled, but uh, this looks awesome. If this tastes half as good as it looks, we are in really good shape. Butter is melting nicely. Asparagus looks good. Prosciutto cooked up well. Mmm. Nice little romantic dinner. Wasn't really that hard. It took a little while because of sous vide, but we could have pulled it out a while ago. Mm. All right, let's uh, let's get to shoot. Actually, no, of course not. Um, which one of these would you like? Because I want to do one thing before we actually taste it. Uh, like a second. Okay. I'm gonna I want to cut into my steak and I want to see what it looks like on the inside because it could actually be. A total fail, for all we know. Oh, that sun. I know. I can't see. Okay. Here we go. Ooh, cuts nice. Okay, so it looks like I went a little over because of the searing, but that still looks pretty good. Yeah, it looks a little well, but... It's still pink. That's not nowhere near well. Hmm. No, it's just a touch of pink. That should really be juicier. Flavor's good. Yeah, I think when you sear, you need like a super hot pizza. I know, I think I went for when you're cooking the steak in there. I did bring the heat up at the end. Mm. The flavor is excellent though. But, and I can see that it is evenly cooked end to end in the sous vide. But I do wonder if I need to go a little lighter on my temp. Yeah, cause this is definitely, don't hate me for a bit of a well done steak. And it's not well, well done, but. It's still pinker than my mama do. Which is not good, but uh, let's put a little of that butter on there. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm trying mm. to convert my parents, God. <laughs> mm. I got the crust right, though. Let me try a little asparagus and I'll let Mary try hers. Mm -hmm. I'm sitting here trying, I have got sunlight glaring directly into my eyes, so I, I don't think this is good. 
It's so good. It's still a juicy steak. It's juicier than it looks. Mm. Okay. Yeah. I do believe Mary's going to be happy. Mm -hmm. You want to try yours and we can actually sit down and eat it. Did you get new plates? No, I've had these for a long time. I guess it's not noticed. Oh, I really need to get on this floor. I got a lot of salt and pepper down there. Hopefully it's okay. Yeah, I haven't cleaned it yet. Mm -hmm. okay. Because I knew you are going to be cooking. Right, yeah. I, I figured this section might be one of the last ones I clean. Fair enough. All right. Yours looks a little lighter. Yeah, not bad. And that's the very end piece, so. Mm-hmm. Probably just went too much on the sear. Oh, he's excited. That's not bad. That was a high pitch, not bad. So for Mary, that's some pretty good praise. Salty without being too salty. Yes, I feel like I nailed that. So that's pretty good. It looks um, pretty. Yeah. Juice levels, even though it's a little over. Yeah, no, that's uh, uh, plenty juicy. Do you agree that it tastes juicier than it looks? I think so, yeah. Yeah. That butter's really good on there, too. Okay, the point for nice, maybe I'll give you a little bit. Shh, don't tell, don't tell, she might. Yeah, you, you, okay, you're They haven't gotten snackles today, but I don't think. The flavor's good. I feel like the brochure is a, a little well done. It's a little, almost hard. The prosciutto? Mine is. We're trying to get it a little crispy, but also um, you had a thicker one too, so. The flavor's good, okay. I'm calling this a bit of a win. Definitely room for improvement. Sous vide's pretty nice. I also wonder if maybe I should have not gone the full four hours, but you know, we'll play with it. Plus these steaks are a little bit older. Today was like their sell-by date. And I, like I said, I don't love how they were sealed, but uh, cool. We will try again in the future. Hopefully filet mignon. I couldn't get filet mignon that day. Oh, well, anyways, I gotta go eat this goddamn beautiful thing. Taste test. Mary's dismantling a chicken over there. She's having a hard time finding a place to set water. So we have a few things to try. We have uh, three sweets and one savory today. Um, not my favorite brand of beef jerky, but I had to try this when I saw this. We've got Doritos Sweet Chili Lime Jack Link's Beef Jerky. I'm just curious, do you have a favorite brand of jerky? Yeah, it was that Crave with a K or whatever. They don't okay. make as much of it, or I don't find it as often as I used to. Huh. Um, I used to get that, that... Minguas? Yeah, they're yeah. really they're really good, too. Uh, we got Reese's Snack Cakes. Ooh. Yeah. Good, they hid the calories, so they aren't going to add it. Oh, my God. That's for the whole pack, but still. Uh, I did find big cups with the uh, Reese's Puffs in them. I'm excited about those. That way, yeah, sure. I know. And then, um, okay. And then uh, Reese's uh, with pretzels. Yeah. Now these are one each. Yeah, those are cup. Yeah, and the yeah. 380s for the whole thing there. Okay. Well, shit, since we told them everything else. No, actually, it's per, uh, per one package, okay. Yeah, I hmm. read. I've seen you play video games. <laughs> I've seen you play video games, Miss Guacamole. <laughs> Um, and you know what, since we told you all the rest of it, uh, 80 calories per serving, two and a half servings, or 210 for the container. Mm -hmm. All right, let's start here. Let's start on the savers. Savory. Ooh. Damn, beefy. I thought it was the hot dogs in the air, but it's actually this. Like, I, sm I smell the meat. Oh, this is actually pretty soft. Are you going to try this one? I was gonna give you that smaller piece, yeah. Spicy sweet chili is usually something. Yeah, it should be fine. Hmm, there it is. Hmm. Hmm. That's all right, but nothing really went right home about, I think. I don't know, I really like that. Now, I, w I don't know that it, I'm getting more of the, the, the sweet, spicy chili um, after the beef. And the beef in this bag is pretty tender and soft. Yeah. It's pretty tender and mild. Um, I like that. I like that a lot, actually. I would buy that again. 
I'm not gonna be like, oh no, it's discontinued and I'll never have it again when it's gone. Like, I don't love it that much, but mm -hmm. I like that. That's pretty tasty. Some kind of yeah, laundry's done. Don't, no, you know cheeky, buddy. You will get cheeky, but you have to be patient. All right, wanna do pretzel first? Sure. I'm gonna open this and cut it in half because neither of us need to be eating this many Reese cups. Jack, are you trying to open the drawer so you have a... <laughs> I think he is. I can hold on Shit. to it. It helps me tall boy. <laughs> Let me get a little saucer to work on. What knife? You want a steak knife or you want a butter knife? Uh, I think a steak knife, honestly. Okay. So, big cup. You can see kind of a little bit of Puppy. Our knife would probably be fine, but until you get to like the thick parts of the chocolate, and then it might do your things. Fair. Kind of... Also, I don't know how it would behave with the harder bits of pretzel. Oh, that's right. This is pretzel. I was thinking that's cocoa puffs. I'm already confused. I keep saying cocoa puffs, but I obviously mean Reese's puffs. No, no, no. Hi, Jack. Hi. <laughs> Got Jake Jack crawling up between our legs. <laughs> would you want the knife for a fight? <laughs> Here and really make you mad today. Here, hold, David will take it from me and use it on you, Jack. <laughs> Here we go. Not bad. Is there some pretzel in there? Mm-hmm. You're getting the crunch. Mm-hmm. The crunch is there immediately. I'm getting some of the salt in there. Mm. The salt really comes through on the back end. Mixes with that chocolate and peanut butter pretty good. That's not bad. I like that better than the, than the potato chip ones. Yeah. I think there's more crunch in there and uh, more of the salty flavor, but it still really mostly tastes like a Reese cup, a slightly saltier Reese cup with crunch in it. Like, I can't say I taste pretzel, you know? All right, I agree. Agree? Okay. All right, well, let's- I'm gonna entertain the Cheeky Jack. I figured. <laughs> All right, so there was that one. <sighs> Sorry. Uh, Puffs? Sure. Even though this is the one I'm more excited about. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Keep an eye on a certain jiki jiki. Uh -huh. I don't trust them. A lot more texture on the puffs showing up there. I feel like this is a little bit taller too. A little small, a little less circumference. Well, I think or diameter. to accommodate actual Reese puffs, it would have to be a little taller. That makes sense. Do you think it wishes it was a baller? Whoop. Okay, <laughs> land it on the plate, we good. Technically, it is a ball compared to the other ones. Yeah, that's a good Reese, point. Reese, Reese puffs are ball shapes. Okay, now cutting the cross section here. Whoop, careful, careful. I don't see anything fall about apart. Uh, Her bottom one come on. Yeah, you don't really see it in the cross section, but I know I went through some. Okay, so I get like that rice puff. Rice Krispie-ish. Mm -hmm. Well, now I found a bunch of them. But you know what? It's Reese flavored cereal. So I can't say it's really adding a flavor, but it's really just adding a texture. Not much of that for me. Yeah, same. I was hoping that'd be really good. It's not bad, but it's kind of like a Reese, Reese cup with, like she said, kind of that Rice Krispie-ish texture. Maybe a hint sweeter, but probably not. Sort of like a failed version. Yo, dog, I heard you like Reese's, so I put Reese's in your Reese's. Yep, there you go. I'm surprised if they have, they probably have, and I just missed it, but I'm surprised they haven't done Reese's Pieces in the Reese's cup. 
Reese's Pieces cups. Now that would definitely pop. And you get all the, the, the texture of the candy shell. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, one more. This one's made with real milk chocolate. What are the others made with? You don't want to know. <laughs> Sobium glutate. Don't ask, don't ask where imitation vanilla comes from. You won't like the answer. Is it a butthole? Okay. Yeah. Oh, cool. <laughs> so these are like that. Cool. All right, here we go. Oh yeah, you definitely get some. This, this is definitely gonna be texturally different. That peanut butter is thin and a little harder. Now, in the picture, the, the cake looks much mm. Look there you there. go. I think that's just where I um, cut it. Okay. Let's see how it looks. Mm. Um, mine should look fairly dense. No, the, the darker cake, anyways. What am I supposed to be getting here? Disappointment. If it's disappointment, I'm definitely getting that. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> that was good. Uh, <laughs> that that just popped out of my mouth. <laughs> Reese's snack cake tastes like disappointment. <laughs> it's okay. I don't know what I was expecting really. Well, it says chocolate cake. I got a chocolatey cake taste. I'm not, the peanut butter is pretty subtle in this, I think, compared to a Reese's cup where it's typically the you know the peanut butter is the star. I'm. I'm barely eating the chocolate cake. Really? Hmm. Maybe I should clean my palate before I drink this or eat this one. Well, you're drinking it. That's why you're not tasting the cake. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah. Listen, I'm a fan of innovation. I'm a fan of trying. I think they should keep trying. Get crazy. Get weird. But still, I don't think any of these have ever come close to just the perfection of a Reese cup. Um, which I think is America's favorite candy or something, which surprises me, because it really should be Snickers. That's the best candy bar on the planet. No argument, that's just objectively true. Kidding, of course. Now, I'm gonna say, I'm not a huge fan of peanut butter, but I do like it in certain things. I, I, I will make peanut butter and honey sandwiches. Um, and I do like new Reese's cup. <laughs> it is a pretty perfect balance of peanut butter and chocolate. All right, well that's this taste test uh, this month, week. Who knows when we'll have more. I, I'm always looking for <laughs> stuff to try now, so we'll see. All right, other vlogs. More, is there? Oh my God, fried green tomatoes are so good. But this smoked paprika aioli is phenomenal. Did you figure this one out yet? I think it's a lemon vinaigrette, is my guess. I'm not sure. Anyways, we're in for four delicious courses. And we got Joe Bob tonight. Let's go. Mary. Hi. What do you want to talk about? Uh, you want to talk about Friday Night Smackdown? Roman Reigns. <laughs> um, yeah, so... Uh, I guess we'll tell the story and then we'll cut the footage in. Uh, hopefully I can post it and not get in trouble. And I can already tell this camera, I do not like this camera. <laughs> Mary's just mandling a chicken. Yep. So we're trying to save some time tonight. There you go, there's her awesome work happening. <laughs> and I just want to get this camera in closer while we talk about going to Friday Night Smackdown. Sitting three rows behind the announcers. Yes, a lot of you shit. A lot of you shit, excuse me. <laughs> Hi. Uh, there we go. Um, Saw it and commented, and was like, was that you? And it's like, yeah, man, you know, we've been talking about it for weeks, but um, we had a great time, yeah? Yeah. Mary got- <laughs> Maybe too, too much of a great time. Mary had too much of a great time. <laughs> it was this close to me having to tuck her in, like. <laughs> yeah, I'm just glad I didn't wake up with a hangover. Yeah, but, um, so uh, I guess first things first that day, uh, you know, we pre-gamed. I pre she, she had a couple of shots of vodka, I drank an entire bottle of wine in like 50 minutes, so that was fun. <laughs> and uh, doors were supposed to open at 6.15, so we get dropped off down there at Rupp Arena, and there's like two massive lines outside, still like halfway around the building. It's like, what? Mm -hmm. 
Hi, buddy. Oops, sorry, I thought you... Okay. No worries, Napoleon, um, you get cheeky soon. There was a really nice guy in front of us who was, who's gone to a lot of these things. He's like, yeah, man, they never open the doors on time. It's like, oh, okay. Well, I wish I'd known. <laughs> Uh, but it was nice, and kind of got to ch talk to him and everything. And tell you what, Rupp Arena, y'all could have killed somebody. Your mm. traffic management in a situation like that needs to be better, because with the new layout, I don't think they're aware. They had us go down the outside steps in a door and go up a es couple of escalators to get up to the security. Mm -hmm. But security was not moving, and they had us all still going in. And you get to the top of that top escalator, it literally became a jam-packed. Everybody stopped, and the escalator is just pushing people off into other people. Yeah. And that was very dangerous. Mm -hmm. um, the guy in front of us said he might have actually bruised himself a little bit because he hit hard when he kind of hit the wall of people. Mm. So, yo, Rupp, get your, get your crap together. That You are lucky that it did not go poor there. I'm honestly surprised that they should, that's a, if, if they've been using that configuration, they should already be aware of that. Yeah, it hasn't been, it's been long enough and they've been running events, but... Anyway, so once we got past that, though, um, the merch, because everybody got in so late, the merch booth was so whopped. Mm -hmm. We looked, and we didn't really care for the event exclusive shirt. It was a blue shirt, said Lexington 316, had Stone Cold Skull on the back. It was kind of like, dull and generic. And it's like, <laughs> why, really? Because, I mean, it's not like we have a connection to Stone Cold here, as far right. as I know. And, and it's not like he was on the show or anything, so. And, yeah, I mean, I know he has his own show right now. Oh, okay? yeah, 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 yeah. But, but again, it seemed irrelevant. Yeah. So the nice thing is... Just, it's killing me how much dead space you keep squeaking off. I'm sorry because I, I'm, I'm I trying not to. I didn't want to do it while you were doing this, but you insisted. Um, no, you're fine. Um, so, luckily, it's fine. Saved us some money on merch. We're like, ah, screw it, let's go get drinks instead. Uh, bartender was really nice. They had these cinnamon sugar cashews. Mm, have you eaten your shit? Some. I figured I'd keep them away from you so you weren't tempted. <laughs> Mary had the entire first bag other than one or two. I was like, I did not need to know how good those were. <laughs> and they couldn't sell us doubles, so I got a couple single vibe because she got a single. Um, we go down, find our way back, go down, and uh, we have great seats. And of course, immediately you recognize that, yeah, the way they film stuff on TV, everything looks bigger and wider. And... Mm -hmm. It's like, that ring is not as big as it looks like on TV. <laughs> <laughs> she literally just like pulled the entire skin back off the chicken. It just looked, we caught me off guard. Um, but yeah, the ring looks a lot smaller. Want another tin? Yeah, just dismiss it. Right. No, I'm snoozing. You're losing. Mm -hmm. Um, so, uh, we get there. Seats are great. Uh, nice people beside us. Nobody really on the other side of us initially. Uh, and everything starts, and it's a good time, because we got a dark match that was Cameron Grimes versus Rick Boogs! Mm -hmm. Huge Boogs fan. And it was an awesome match. Those two guys together, really entertaining. And then it was one of those nice things where they were real good sports at the end. They like yeah. they shook hands. It's like yeah, and I was like now kiss. It's... They didn't, sadly. I, I honestly. Oh, I, I should have told them they did. It's, it's so rare that you have good sportsmanship after a match. Whenever I see it, I'm like, oh, that's nice. That's so sweet. It would have been funny if actually we did try to convince everybody and like uh, uh, gaslight them that they actually kissed. Mm -hmm. You know, like just made it like it was really it really happened. We've been like, it was on the cheap, but still, it really happened. <laughs> and then, of course, the show starts, and it's real interesting to see, you know, they have the whole recap and all of that. And then, like, mm. on the, when we rewatched it, um, it's the first shot of the audience. Mary and I are right there. Like, as soon as they do all the recaps, in the very first shot, you know, inside mm -hmm. the arena, it's like, it pans kind of by us, which is pretty cool. There's a lot of fun shots with us. Now, there was a problem, though. <laughs> as far as, there was a bunch of empty seats in the front. I wouldn't say a bunch, us. but there was a reasonable amount of empty seats uh, and, in a couple of rows ahead of us. Yeah, and we both know, especially rewatching it on TV, that they normally they cut to the announcers a decent amount. At least a few times. I think they maybe cut to the announcers two, maybe three times the I, entire night. No, I don't remember much. seeing them cut to them at all. Yeah, I remember thinking that was really odd, but maybe it was because there were too many empty seats. Now they filled most of those seats in later in the night. Um. But the matches were great. I thought we were supposed to have a women's tag unification. We did not, because I thought we were going to see Ronda Rousey and Shayna Baszler versus the witchy chicks from NXT I like. But apparently that's so sweet. Yeah, I feel like they moved it. I feel like they moved the goalpost on us or something. But it was a full show. I don't remember all the cards off the top of my head, but it was a really good time. Uh, oh, it started with the five tag. Yeah, the five-way five gauntlet tag match with Pretty Deadly. Yes. You can see Mary and I doing the fusion thing behind them in a shot or two. It's mm -hmm. pretty fun. 
And uh, that was an awesome match with Sheamus and everything. Um, mm -hmm. And, you know, very excited, pretty deadly one. We were probably the only people in the arena that were <laughs> cheering and excited for them. Yeah, I think you might be right. And then uh, Mary picked what we thought was a terrible time to go to the bathroom. Uh, no, not to the bathroom, but to go get another round of drinks. Because mm. um, it went to commercial. But Pretty Deadly kept hanging out in the ring. And they were pretty nice and playing with the audience and everything. And then we come back from commercial and fucking Kevin and Sammy come out. And I'm like, no, Mary's going to miss Kevin and Sammy, no. Mm -hmm. And it was cute and it was funny. And she got back and I was mm -hmm. like, oh, I'm so sorry, honey. I'm not sure I remember... I can't remember if I saw that in the playback or not. Only. Yeah, because they still had the thing where they come out. It's like, you guys have been out here for like five minutes celebrating. Oh, okay, maybe. Um... Also, I think we watched that that night, too, so you might have been pretty intoxicated. Maybe you need to rewatch it. I haven't deleted it. Um, so all that was kind of fun. And, you know, more matches. Again, I wish I could remember off the top of my head. But... Uh, I know we had AJ versus... Oh, yeah, AJ uh... versus Karrion. And AJ is such a nice guy, dude. Even in the commercial when it blacked out, he came over to the row. He was talking to the kids and, like, saying hi to everybody and just being a real sweetheart. Um, so that was really fun. And uh, unfortunately, though, the carry and cross match was so fast, like we had to, we didn't, we weren't sure what happened uh, out there. It was on the replay. We we're watching the SmackDown recording. We're like, oh, that's yeah. why it was over so quick. Yeah. Honestly, where we're sitting at might be good for getting on television, but a lot of the action plays to the other two sides. Yes. Yeah. So, you, also, you get a lot of cameramen in your way. Yeah, but I mean, you know, that you're gonna get that, and you're gonna get the cameraman thing on any side. But it wasn't actually that wasn't as bad as I was thinking. It honestly so uh, maybe I just noticed it more than you do but I uh, show them was <laughs> no <laughs> um, but anyway so eventually we had the uh, Bailey came out with Eo Sky <laughs> and I forget what the girl's name is from the LWO uh, Dakota Bailey uh, oh LWO uh, is it, is not no that's the other girl it, uh, it's fine um, anyways, I went to get more drinks on that one, and again, it was a blink and it was over by the time I come back, but yeah. they were setting up for Grayson Waller. Ah, oh, I really fucked the camera. Right there. <laughs> That's part of why I didn't want to do that. Um, setting up for Grayson Waller, so we got to see, uh, Charlotte Flair, and of course Bianca Belair did come out, and that was awesome. Um, I apologize for staring at her butt so much, but she was wearing see-through stuff and had her butt facing us the whole time. So I was like, well, I mean, I can't help it. It's right there. Yeah. It's nice. <laughs> She's got a nice booty. Um, so that whole thing was kind of fun, and Grayson Waller is, you know. Oh, I hate that. Sorry, I had all the cheeky boats that I was saving for the kids in the lid. I'll deal with it later. Okay. Because um, we're getting close to being done with this. You know, I'll, I will just get you good cheeky. Yeah, yeah. Good cheeky for you, buddy. It's going to be even better. Mommy screwed up to your benefit. Um, so. Uh, Anyways, all that stuff happened. It was a good time. We were yelling all kinds of stuff. I did yell kiss up to somebody at one point, and the guy sitting next to me about lost it because he was not <laughs> expecting to hear somebody yell that. Of course, we had the whole Roman Reigns thing. Well, I was going to get to that. That's okay. what we're building up to. It's the end. Uh, so well, almost the end. I, I feel like there was more stuff that happened, but I... Mm. Well, there is, but we'll get there. Um, it's not that important. We're mostly just giving our, you know, our enjoyment. Plus, okay. he is killing me. I feel bad for him, <laughs> so I want to get this done for his sake. Yes, I am trying to hurry. Um, so, <laughs> more drinks, more nuts, more good times, and, um... <laughs> anyway, so the Roman Reigns thing, yes, we were there for the epic Uso kick, the epic Uso reveal, I was, mm -hmm. we were so happy about that. Like, we're kind of wondering if, where they, they go back on Raw, and like, they'll do recaps, and they, they have other footage they didn't broadcast of the audience. Mm -hmm. I'm almost hoping... Not even because it would be fun for my, me to be on TV, but I would hope we get a close-up of that super kick of our faces because I have a feeling, you know, I give good face. <laughs> um, and good head. Um, she's not, she's not setting up. Uh, it's, it's just now, it just feels so far away. <laughs> now you gotta come over here. Oh. I know. It's like actually standing there you on the mat. Um, so that was just really epic and awesome. And we cheered our throats and voices gone. Although it was nice being able to watch on uh, again on the TV because oh my God, some of the faces Paul was making it was yeah. like oh that, that that should be a gift somewhere. Yeah, that was really fun. And when we were sitting too, um, even when the wrestlers are on the mic cutting their promos, oh, there's something else that I want to go back to real quick. When they were cutting their promos, it was kind of hard to hear them. I think most of the arena would be fine, but I think we were kind of sitting inside of the speaker fear speaker. 
field a little bit. So we weren't quite getting it projected to our ears as much. I forgot, I don't even remember the context. So we got to see, oh yeah, Rey Mysterio popped out. We got to see L.A. Knight, and we got to do the thing. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, because uh, he was uh, Santos. Yeah, because that's right, it was versus Santos, and that's the one we kept rewinding. You'll see in the footage yeah. where you can see me in the corner being like. <laughs> <laughs> And then during the Roman Reigns thing, I know um, they did cut to us, and I explained it in the video better, but he does the Lexington, Kentucky, and everybody's cheering, and I'm like, mm. but it, it'll be explained in a minute why I did that. Yeah. Um, so all that was really, really fun. And uh, then we got another dark match. This is kind of interesting. So at Money in the Bank in a couple of weeks, we're going to have Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn versus Pretty Deadly for the titles. Mm -hmm. Well, we watched Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn versus Pretty Deadly for the titles, but it was a dark mm -hmm. match. So it's like, well, yeah, they're clearly not going to Which lose. Which turned into a Lexington Street fight? Well, they called it a Lexington Street fight, but I was like, what exactly made that a Lexington Street fight? I don't, I don't know. I, 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 I don't know. Was, I think we got a table somewhere, didn't mm. we? Yeah, because the audience was chanting, we want tables. So we did get tables. They did put one of the Pretty Deadly mm -hmm. guys through a table. That's a good point. Um, but she knew as soon as the cameras left. It's like, oh. But, but at least Mary got to see them wrestle. We got to see them wrestle. The Pretty Deadly guys need Yakety Sax music so bad. Oh, yeah. Because that was not on, on, on the show, so they don't know about this. Yeah, it was during commercial break. Uh, That's what they were doing to kill time during a commercial break. Yeah, but that doesn't make sense because it was a dark match, which means no, they no. During the five way tag, there was a commercial break. Oh, right. And they were doing that there too. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so going way back to the five way tag because they weren't the first team in. They came in later. They were the last team in. Yeah, that's right. They went to commercial and like the whole thing. They're waiting. Like I think it was she yeah, it was Sheamus mm -hmm. was in the ring ready to fight the next team, and like so during the break, what you didn't see was one of the pretty gay deadly guys would like jump in the ring and be like ha, and then jump right back out it while the mm -hmm. other one would come up and jump in the ring and Sheamus turn around and they'd be like so it was like a whole like. Mm -hmm. Four minutes, five minutes, or whatever. A guy jumping in and right back out. Another guy jumps in right back out. And I think uh, and, and, and running and, around the ring. And Seamus's partner like chasing them around the outside of the ring. Yeah, and, and Pete was there ringside, so we didn't get to see awesome Pete, but we didn't oh, get yeah, to see yeah, anybody's yeah, fingers. Yeah, yeah. But uh, so all that was great. I had a blast. She had a good time too. I think you agreed mm -hmm. that it's like yeah. you'd be down for you know maybe doing it like once a year or something. Um, yeah. You know, so maybe occasionally more of a cheaper seats, but. Next time we'll, we'll either be on uh, camera side or TV side, though, instead of behind the announcer side, because I think we'll have a little more time, a little more fun. Plus, we do give good, good such give good such good face, and we are so into it that um, we'd probably be better off a little bit up there and yelling. Although Flag we guy. had a good crowd. What? Flag guy wasn't there, was he? Who guy? Flag guy. No, no, no. He, he hasn't been showing up as as, as regularly now. But um, had a blast. Want to do it again? It was a good time, and. I forgot what I was gonna say, because it was about being inside, giving good face, um, reacting. But I mean, like, we were into it. Oh, that's what it was, we had a good crowd. I was worried, like, is Lexington gonna represent? And even though maybe we weren't as full as we should have been as an arena, everybody was into it. I don't think they had to pump in audience stuff for us, I don't feel like, I feel like everybody was really in it, and you can see it in the broadcast, everybody is like standing a lot, really into the show, nobody ever really looks bored. I'm not sure if we had much chanting. Well, there's some things we got to do, but then again, a lot of the like song chants and stuff mm -hmm. are on, on Raw. Raw. Yeah. yeah, I mean, we got to do a little bit of Sammy's, Sammy's whoa -oh -oh's. We got to do what? Mm -hmm. What? To somebody. We got to do L A Night. Um, but I don't know if we got like a This Is Awesome. No, we never got a This Is Awesome, which we should have. I, I, no, I think we, we almost got a This Is Awesome in the five way tag, but we didn't quite get there. I think we had Roman Sucks. Mm -hmm. Roman Sucks. Yeah, so, um... You guys, like, what? Was that not supposed to be that? <laughs> You're fine, Amy. We weren't, we weren't <laughs> clapping at you. Uh, so, anyways, that was pretty much our, raw exp our SmackDown experience, except now we're going to show you what little footage I did film of us going and some of us filming off our TV of us uh, in the background. And hopefully I don't get struck for it or, you know, I don't have to edit this 500 times to cut it all out or something. So hopefully it's there. If it's not there, it's because copyright wouldn't let me. All right, <laughs> more vlog. I'm going to reach. Uh, oh, yeah. What you going to do, brother, when SmackDown comes to you? Well, we're going to get real drunk and go to SmackDown. That's what we're going to do. <laughs> that, that was actually pretty awesome. All right, it's 530, uh, 541. I got to fix that clock. Uh, PM on June 16th, 2023. I don't know how much I'll film at the actual event, because obviously I'm not there to film the event, but, and they say you're not really supposed to, but you know, so I'm, I'm sure we'll get a little. I know, right? 
Um, so anyways, I'm just telling you that because the pre-gaming is about to begin. I'm gonna see if I can do a whole bottle of wine. I'm trying to save some money because it's a Disney trip, but also I wanna be ready and in the mood because I was watching our Halloween Horror Nights from the honeymoon last night and man, once I start hitting a certain place, I get real fun. Well, I mean, in terms of having real fun. <laughs> that face, all right, cheers. We get a boo, Dominic Mysterio. We get the women's title uh, unification, man. Uh, with Ronda Rousey and Shayna Baszler against, uh, uh, I don't, yeah, the witchy girls from NXT. I like them, I just haven't learned their names yet. Abel or something like that. I have no idea. Anyways, that'll be cool. Uh, we get to boo the shit out of Dominic Mysterio with uh, Shinsuke Nakamura. I think that's a dark match or they're pre-filming something for Raw. It's a little confusing. Um, we get the five tag team gauntlet match with uh, the, o the boring characters of the OC. Uh, half the boring characters of the fighting brutes or whatever, but we get Sheamus. We get... Um, the Street Profits and Pretty Deadly and, oh yeah, and then the boring half of LWO. So that'll be a, a pretty awesome. Um, we get uh, AJ Styles versus Karrion Cross. That should be a pretty dope match. And it, I'm assuming there'll be some surprises too. And then of course we've got some continuing bloodline drama with Jimmy and Jay because we left it with Jay telling Paul, ha Paul Hyman, <laughs> that's our name for him, um, that if he rejoins the bloodline, then Paul's out the bloodline. So I'm sure that's gonna play out, especially because Roman is here tonight. So, should be a real good time. All right, I'm, I had homemade hot dogs. I'm gonna get to drinking. Oh, and I'm representing. I thought about wearing a different shirt, but I thought, eh. I mean, you, want, you know what my honest choice decision on the shirt was, Mary? Why to do a Joe Bob shirt? Why? Well, I thought, Certainly the people that know me that I've been telling to like look out for us or whatever, they may see us on TV and that'll be cool. But I thought, well, you know what? There's a lot of mutants that don't know me by face or name or anything, but the more likely I represent, the more likely somebody else might catch us and screen grab it. And then, you know, I don't know. That was kind of my thinking. Okay. Wrestle. Woo! Uh, it is 6.33 and we're on our way to Rupp a fucking arena, baby. Look at that shit. Adorable, and she did the smart thing. I thought about wearing a bright color so I'm easier to find myself on TV, but everything I wanted to wear thematically was black, so I was like, all right, fine, but I'm glad she's wearing at least purple. It'll help a little bit, mm -hmm. and... I feel, uh, like, I feel like this shirt is kind is of theme-ish. Oh, it does have a little bit of, am I showing it right? It does have a little bit of a Judgment Day vibe to it. I assume so, that may be what you're thinking. Yeah. Because I think we might get a surprise Rhea Ripley tonight. I don't know, that'd be cool. Um, not sure. I was I was gonna get to you, pops, Daddy John. Um, but yeah, uh, so I chugged that whole bottle of wine in just under an hour with the two hot dogs right before, and uh, Mary did a couple shots of vodka. So we are ready to party. Six thirty four. Doors opened like uh, twenty minutes ago. Uh, event starts in an hour and ten. Very very exciting times. Now the important question: Do you have a cigar? Okay. Yep. Daddy John, what you smoking? Punch signature. Punch signature. Punch signature. And that's the shirt he was showing. Up, so. I know people like when Daddy John pops in. Oh, yeah. They do. I, I mean, people always, anytime you show up, I get comments about, oh, it's cool to see your dad again. <laughs> so, all right. All right. That's too big, because it actually goes over my ears. Well, it works, though. You look badass. You look like a boss. <laughs> It's just because people are huge fools. They're big fools. Yeah, it's just like you can kind of see the, there's a second phone freezer, I think, on the... Yep. Yep. This isn't even my final phone. All right. I'm ready. Let's do it. Let's go. Woo! Okay, so... I don't want to film people that aren't asking me to. Uh, <laughs> uh, big old line. I think they've just opened the doors. Apparently, this awesome dude in front of me is telling me he's been a lot, and they opened the doors way late. So we got like a huge line, but that's all right. We had a lot to drink. We're good. <laughs> More later. Woo! Holy shit. That was an adventure. <laughs> that's some really nice people in front of me. They're standing right over there. Uh, guy's been to a lot. He helped make it entertaining to get through. Uh, 722. So what we got here about 
I want to say we got here at 6.52. Does it take us half an hour to get inside? Damn, this is horrible lighting on me. <laughs> um, thank God I had that bottle of wine because it may be a pain in the ass to get drink. Here's the Mary. Okay. Hi. Uh, we got to find drinks and then we'll have to figure out where our section is. I mean, I'll, I'll look it up. I don't remember off the top of my head. So, <laughs> I mean, obviously we're going to the floor, but <clears throat> we'll figure that out and then see where the nearest drinks are. Honestly, <clears throat> I don't know if we'll have a chance to get merch. Maybe after the show, but look at that. I mean, unless they have like some satellite Actually, stations, which they probably there's do. A we don't care about. <clears throat> yeah, maybe. Yeah, that seems like the way to go. All right, we're gonna go figure this out. Okay, so we got to work our way around to a different entrance to hit the floor, but we found a short line for drinks, which stop at nine. So we're gonna get a drink now. Find our way to our seats. Hopefully, pop out about eight forty and get one last drink. Enjoy the rest of the show. Oh, you know what? I about ended that soon. We just checked the main merch table. Sadly, there's really nothing like we're excited for. One exclusive for sure. Yeah, it's like just the blue shirt, Lexington 316. It's like, I mean, unless like Stone Cold shows up tonight, which is insanely unlikely. Um, he does have that new TV show. For some reason, he shows up to promote it, but I don't think that's likely. Yeah, it's highly unlikely. So, unless there's something somewhere else, we might actually get out here without buying any merch. Okay, almost our turn. We made it. Mary got cinnamon cashews. And we got drinks. Um, taste test. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, my God. Nope, I did not need to try that. Well, if we do get back for halftime drinks I might get another <laughs> but anyways check us out look at this so if you're watching home via in the top right corner of your screen oh yeah I was hoping we'd get another woo train going well wait wait almost nope try starting one yourself I'm not a starter I'm a seconder just like the circle pit. This is gonna be a blast, y'all. Look, we got the money in the bank up there. The announcer's chairs. I'm so stoked. We have the perfect view of the- The ring looks smaller than it does on TV. Yeah, everything is smaller than it looks, except my waistline. Perfect view. It's gonna be amazing. I don't know what we're doing, but I'm in. Woo! Oh yeah, Mary and I should get a picture. what a commercial break is like. Pretty deadly for the win, baby. Undertaker or Batista? Undertaker, 3D for the
2K basketball people. NXT dudes right there, man. <laughs> we get a little post show fun, but oh my god. We still got Shinsuke, and we have the Sami Zayn and uh, Pretty Deadly. I guess we know how that's gonna go.
right now. So, how about this? I don't really feel, here's the thing, I know you guys want to, I don't really feel like having a nice tag team wrestling match with the arms and the quads <laughs> and the leg. How about we switch everything up and we finish the night off with a Lexington street fight? Yeah! Fun, dude. <laughs> Woo! Sammy, 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 Sammy. But also pretty gently. But also pretty gently. But also pretty gently.
right, that's right. My boys got to get some licks in too. Come on. <laughs> oh, do I need to drink? Okay, um, we tried a few times, but here we go. Um, this is, uh, we were mad, we love LA Night. We got to do LA Night, but watch this. We're about to see some really cute me and Mary. I'll zoom in if I have to. Smackdown, don't get mad that I'm filming. I'm not trying to film, hold on, let me do that. All right, then Eddie comes running. I'm gonna keep you in the corner, so, okay. It's this shot. Oh, I, are you kidding me? I fucking missed it. I zoomed in and I missed it. Uh, okay, 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 okay. Uh, I'm, I'm just gonna try not to zoom in. We'll just try to point. I'll keep fingers. And then you can zoom in on your thing. But I'm gonna do this so that's like, it's like blah, 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 blah. It's when LA Knight starts walking around the corner. Uh, oh, I, I came too soon again. I came too soon again. <laughs> This is what I hate trying to use Apple Apple, yeah, Apple TV remote is pain for rewinding. Okay, get ready. Get ready. I'm going to do a silly dance. Mary's there. She's in a purple shirt. Not here. Wait till we cut behind the announcers. Okay, wait till he like rolls out of the ring. Shit. There's still so much of this. Hey, 
Nice. Okay, it's about to happen. Be looking down here ish. There. Yep, look, there we are. Oh, wait. Did I, I think I missed the silly dance. But you can see Mary. Fuck it. Future editing Eric. Zoom and enhance. Okay, people sent me a lot of screenshots of this, but now that I've seen the whole video in context, this is great. So real quick, I'm just gonna say, he's like, Lexington, Kentucky, and of course we wanna boo him, but you know how the thing is, people, like Mary, I don't wanna film that for too long. Like, you know, like, it's just the thing. It's the easy clap, it's the easy blah. Uh -huh. I, I see. Uh, when somebody says the city and we all yeah. cheer it. So that is what my reaction is in reaction to. Ah. And I saw a lot of people sending me the reaction. I didn't know. I knew I was being doing something stupid and silly, but I didn't know what I was doing. And now I have the context that this screenshot where Mary and I are clearly featured. Like, I mean, we're talking like going to be dead center there. Mm -hmm. um, so anyways, watch this. You ready? He's going to say the thing. Please don't get mad at me, SmackDown. Take my money. It's fine. But don't block me. Don't block me, bro. All right, here we go. Try to, come on, come on, come on. Here we and Say the thing. Stupid Apple TV, I can't rewind. Beautifully. And he smells the tasty fart and says. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then I'm like, eh, yeah, yeah, you did the thing, okay. Okay, so let's do a quick little vacation update because I believe a lot has happened since we last left off. I believe we last left off with, uh, hey, we get to do it, and maybe we had booked uh, Disney? Uh, I don't remember if we had I, it. I don't think we had I think we did that like Friday maybe? Or Saturday? Maybe. All right, well, anyways, here it is. Uh, we actually <laughs> are getting to do all of it. Of course, we already had our flight out to Vegas for mm -hmm. the Jamboree on Thursday. I don't know if we told you we bought tickets to the AGT Superstars show. Uh, so we get to go uh, Thursday night. We're going to the Luxor to see the America's Got Talent performers and obviously winners from this season, which is going to make this season even more enjoyable because much like watching wrestling, knowing we're going to a show, yeah. you kind of can get a little bit more into it. It's like, ooh, who's going to win? Who might we see? Um, there is some possible downsides to that because there could be people we really don't want to. That, yeah. But then hopefully it's some cool people we do. Although you, you were looking at the schedule, I'm like, oh my God, the human fountains are there. Yeah, who's there right now is great. <laughs> and even, uh, I hope that Mike, Mike, Mike something. Uh, Win Winfield, Mike E. Winfield, I think. Something like that. Uh, he's hosting right now. Like, <laughs> I hope he stays the host because he was hilarious last yeah. year. Yeah. Anyways, uh, so we're going to do that on Thursday. Then we got Friday, Saturday, Sunday at the Jamboree. And then for a minute, I was thinking, you know what? It doesn't cost that much more to fly to California from Vegas than to drive, which is true if you aren't doing it on a Monday. Because I somehow set that to Wednesday every time I looked. And I was going to pull the trigger, then realized, wait a minute, this is Wednesday, not Monday. Went and looked at Mon Monday. Monday is much more expensive, I guess, because everybody's trying to get out of Vegas on Monday. Yeah. So we will be driving after all. Um, Did we figure out which hotel we're staying at in Vegas yet? No, no, yeah, they still haven't announced uh, the hotel because I'm also hoping, even if we don't get into the main party hotel, um, I'm hoping uh, we can at least take advantage of a discount with the uh, blocks of rooms they're trying to get. Mm -hmm. But it's getting close, so who knows? Um, but so that's going to be fun. And then, of course, Monday, I'm going to try and get my butt up earlier than usual so we can get on the road so we don't take too long and we can have a good long day at Disney. I will have to basically save him from the party Sunday night. <laughs> but I think it'll be, a, I, I, theoretically, who knows once I'm out there and I'm really hanging out, who knows, you know? Maybe I'm making really important connections but um, and friendships. But we have now officially, uh, so we have our flight to Vegas. We have our Jamboree tickets. Mm -hmm. No hotel yet. We have not done the rental car just yet. Um, now we have gone ahead and booked the Disney side, the hotel, the tickets, the Genie Plus, all of that. The Disneyland Hotel, we got like Monday and Tuesday and Wednesday we can go. I Although, actually have no idea which hotel we're at. <laughs> I don't think you ever gave me like a name. I just said it. Oh, it's actually called that? This one is, the, yeah, the Disneyland Hotel. Okay. It just sounds so generic compared to some of the other ones. And they only have like three resorts out there. Which, by the way, uh, I don't want to get too specific about things here, so I'm not going to use certain things. But, okay. um, 
Um, the rental cars we've been looking at, mm -hmm. they do have a drop-off facility at one of the hotels, not ours. But that means we could probably pretty much drive right to Disney and work that out. Okay. Because once we're at Disney, we don't need a car anymore. All right. Um, so we have that. Uh, we did the Genie Plus because, you know, I like Genie Plus and right. because I want Photo Pass and you get, basically you get Memory Maker for free with Genie Plus out there. So. Um, so we got that really nice lady, and I'm still going to fight for my Oogie Boogie tickets because we'll get one day we could possibly go to the Oogie Boogie Halloween Bash, which will be on that Tuesday. And I know when they go on sale, I'm going to be ready for them. Um, now, then we go to Universal after that, and I did go ahead and book the Universal Hotel, although I'm thinking about changing it because if I go with the other really nice hotel at Universal, apparently I can get Delta Miles. Okay. But I had a whole bunch of points for the hotel we're at and saved some money, so I don't know that it's really worth doing at this point. But, so we got that hotel, and we haven't booked Universal tickets yet, because I have some questions I need to get on the phone and ask. Because what we did do is Horror Nights went on sale. <laughs> oh yeah. Like, I was literally researching our Universal tickets and hotel, and I was about to start booking some of that, when I noticed they had packages that include Horror Night tickets. And I was like, wait, the tickets aren't, and I went and looked, and the tickets were not on sale, but I was like, oh, but with a package, I can get the tickets. So I put together a package, I'm about to pull the trigger and it's like, oh, those aren't those, you can't have those, they don't exist. I was like, oh, is it that thing where they pre-list them if you can't buy them yet? And then I was like, well, now I see they have the tickets on sale. And I realized I was literally in the midst of everything was dropping and getting announced and coming out and going on sale. <laughs> so I'm probably one of the very first people to buy some Horror Night stuff, including an RIP tour, baby, woo! <laughs> on Friday the 13th. <laughs> yep. What could go wrong there? Yeah. And the benefit now, of that... Now, you're always the one that says, this, you know, I've watched too many horror movies <laughs> to do X, Y, or Z. Well, again, I feel like the Universal stuff is a little more safe. We'll see. Um, anyways, very excited about that. And then what I did was I actually got the Unlimited Fear Pass because I kind of made a mistake, but we figured out how to make it worth the money. <laughs> so if you didn't know, you can buy individual tickets to individual nights, and you can buy express versions of that, blah, 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 blah which give you, you know, you can get on the rides a lot faster in the houses and all that with an express ticket. Um, they also have the Fear Pass, which lets you go to a lot, like from whatever starting day you pick, you can go to almost every night if you are there to do that. Or you can do the unlimited one that does no block out dates and you can go every night after the night you start your, your ticket for. So I thought I was gonna save money. I thought I was being all clever. It's like, why don't I just buy that unlimited pass? That way we can actually go on Wednesday night. We're not just not just do Thursday and Friday. We can do on Wednesday night and get in the Thursday like we planned. We'll have our, our actual admission ticket for Friday because RIP does not include admission. And then I thought, depending on what time we have to leave for the airport, we can get in on some Saturday. And, I, and then I realized, oh, you know why that sounded cheaper? Because I was basing that against the express versions of the tickets, which this does not include. I was like, so, and it's not refundable. But I found out if we buy early entry on Saturday and we go over there for like, cause we'll have to leave about seven. Um, and you know, that's when things really start. But with early entry, we can do some Halloween Horror Nights at 5.30, which means we could actually make the tickets cost less by what I did and rectify my mistake. So that's maybe what we're gonna do. And I was so excited to get the uh, RIP for the Friday night because I figured original plan was we would do the RIP on Thursday and then just kind of maybe get express on Friday. But I thought, oh, Friday's gonna be so much busier because A, it's a locals park, unlike Orlando, which is a destination park. Yeah, pretty much everybody in Orlando goes to the parks. You, obviously some people live there and go, but a lot less of it is people that live there versus people traveling there. Mm -hmm. Whereas Hollywood, the, the parks there apparently, way more of a locals park and less of a destination. So a lot of local people come out on the weekends and gets real busy. So it's like, well, then that's when you want the RIP because the lines will be longer on that and it being Friday the 13th which I didn't even think about until after I booked and I was like oh my god that's amazing <laughs> and it was literally like a difference of $20 for each of our tickets so I was like oh yeah no if it was like a hundred dollar difference it might have made a difference mm. but at the cost of RIP tickets $20 a piece was nothing <laughs> so yeah RIP tickets are kind of insane they are very expensive but we learned they worth every penny. Y'all remember, you remember, we saved 13 hours and 45 minutes of line wait time. Yeah, I remember. And that doesn't count for the time we saved in the bars because we had our private cash bars, mm -hmm. you know, and all that. And just the fun and the perfect seats. Anyways, so very excited about that. And we do have our flight back home. I have also finally applied for a credit card. For those of you that don't know, I never really had a need. I've been lucky enough to not really need to do credit. 
So I was always doing things on debit. And if you watched our vlogs last year with the hurricane, we had to change things and rebook things and some other things. Found out, don't do parks on debit cards because if you have to change things or get things refunded, all the holds are there and your money gets tied up. Whereas at least if it's on a credit card, you got like that 30 days before the charges actually happen. So there's time for it all to sort itself out. So uh, yeah. we booked a lot on Mary's credit card for now. And we're gonna see if I can get one. I have no idea. I hope so. I'd like to get those Disney discounts. Mm -hmm. And if I get that, I may get the uh, Sky Miles American Express one too. So I can start booking up miles so we can travel more. Miles have apparently become the very important thing I realized. <laughs> um, so that's where we're at with all of that. So we still gotta get our universal tickets. Cause I wanna know, uh, you know, if we have to buy the early entry on Friday, because we need to be there earlier than the gates open for and that's a regular what you ticket. Need to call for, right? Right. That's one of the things. And also, I would like to get express tickets and see if I can add express to an unlimited night. So I got a few things like that to do. And of course, we need to get our rental car. Other than that, we are pretty much booked up until we hit that 60 days out outside of Disney, where we find like our lightsaber build times and all that. So we got our park reservations at Disney. The first two days start at Disneyland. Third day starts at California Adventure. We'll make that Marvel Day. Um, yeah. Then we're gonna come home and marry. Oh yeah. oh yeah, and then we get to, um, it was way cheaper and more options to fly out of LAX. So we're gonna get a car to take us out to LAX. Gotta leave there about seven. Uh, I think our flight takes off about 9.30 or something their time. Then of course there's a three hour difference coming home. But we'll get home about like 10 a.m. to Cincinnati and then dad's gonna drive us home. Cause again, Cincinnati was way cheaper to fly into and out of. And it's a direct flight, which considering we're in the main cabin, I want to make it as short as possible. Mm -hmm. I really got spoiled on first class. Uh, now, unrelated, do you want to discuss what you learned uh, researching uh, taking flights out to Hawaii? Okay, sure. Because <laughs> um, we also were looking at that Alani, Al Al Alani uh, Disney Hawaii Resort. I didn't realize how far Hawaii was from California, first off. I didn't mm -hmm. realize Hawaii was almost the width of the United States away from California. Because when I first opened up the tickets, I was like, 19 hours, what? And I just laughed. Yeah, because she knew. Um, and I'm like, man, when we when the day inevitably comes that we probably try that, we might need to splurge for first class. Because listen, two, three, four hours, you know, five, six, okay, fine. I can do it in basic class. But 19 hours. I told her, I'll make up for the extra 2,000 a ticket with the free drinks. I... Uh... <laughs> Cause I'm gonna need to do something for 19 hours. Uh, my uh, much cheaper for us just to go to Cancun to get her back to the beach. Some Jack. Hey, Jack. 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 No. You don't get chicken that way. No. You'd be good. Uh, so one of my coworkers is doing a family vacation to Hawaii. I think later this summer, and there's she's got two girls and one's six years old. She's like, I don't know what I'm going to do with this child because she is going to be so... Oh, she, on the she, plane. Yeah, because it's like, it's like, find her favorite TV show and just marathon it for her maybe because <laughs> cause she's like a very active kid mm. and keeping an active kid cooped up like that. Give her, get her in a Rubik's Cube. <laughs> um, <laughs> so the only other things... Uh, oh yeah, you know what? I'll give you one interesting tidbit I learned about Disney uh, as well the other night researching some things. Um, the castles. Because we were watching a video about Disneyland. I was like, oh, it's Sleeping Beauty's castle out there. It's Cinderella in, in Orlando. And I did not realize that, that. And I was like, oh, that's interesting. So apparently there are five princess castles throughout the world in the various parks. Three of them are Sleeping Beauty's and uh, only two for Cinderella. But uh, in Orlando, it's the tallest castle of all of them at I think 189 feet because that was the tallest you could build a structure without putting a red flashing light on top of it at the time. <laughs> and Sleeping Beauty's in Disneyland is only 77 feet. So that's kind of... You know, but whatever. Mm -hmm. And um, not only is in Orlando the Cinderella restaurant the only uh, princess castle with a restaurant in it that we ate at, and it was amazing. Mm -hmm. and the food was legitimately great there. Um, it also apparently has a super secret high-end uh, hotel suite in it that they almost never use. It's like super rare charity events and giveaways. But uh, it was built for Walt Disney and his family, and he died before it was completed. And, Aww. I, know, I know. I just found all. I don't this... think you told me that part. No, oh, I thought I did, but. I thought all that stuff was interesting, so I thought I'd share that information with y'all. And I do believe this uh, hands this handles our vacation update. And uh, you know, we probably have, that's like the bulk of everything too. So I don't know if there'll be much more updating to do until all I'm just thinking is why is it not October yet? Because I'm ready. <laughs> I'm not though. I have a lot of cool stuff to get done before then. So. Uh, yeah. Meanwhile, I've been getting ready for Pinsic. 
I went to oh, yeah. I went to Costco for chicken and I went, oh, that would probably be a good food to take. Oh, that would probably be good. <laughs> yeah, because Mary's doing the Penzik thing for that week uh, where she back to alternating years and doing it. That's going to be weird for me because I will finally have to start. I'm more worried about the erp, but she tells me I should probably be more worried about the poop. But I was like, I don't know. I saw that erp on your chair last night and it's like, no, no, I would not know what to do with that. I think, no, it depends. As long as Napoleon stays regular, the erp is going to be worse. Mm. So one way or another, <laughs> our man, okay, we don't, we don't need we don't need to broadcast his business. <laughs> but, uh, but I will say that erp we found in your chair last night, Yeah. if that happened while you were not home, that would be a, hey, Glenna. <laughs> That's her mom. Yeah, I'm sitting here looking at it going like, because I have a chair that's like got a mesh top with like foam padding under it. And I'm sitting here going like, there's no good way to do this. Yeah, there was a lot of that. Uh, the poor, thing is, it's like, guy. I'm gonna have to wait till I have a nice, really hot sunny, sunny day and basically take the chair outside and hose it down really good <laughs> and then set in the sun to dry. Pretty much. Um, yeah, and also I need to teach him agriculture so that um, the plants don't die while I'm gone. Yeah, your mom may have to do a lot of that too. Mom's not very good at it. Oh no. <laughs> Mom likes. I didn't Mom. know you going on vacation was going to turn into an extra job for me, particularly the like week and a half right before that major well, event like, happens I can in my schedule, life. I know. Like I have any control over when Penzik happens. I know, I know, but I'm just, I'm just like, I just realized like this, again, we aren't talking about it on camera, but you know what's happening like shortly after you get back and mm -hmm. how huge a, a deal that is. But. I know. Anyways, we'll make it work. Um, she won't let me go to Penzik with her because I would ruin it for her. Yeah, no, you, you, you would be like hot and dying and going like, where's my AC and my electricity? And I'm and... bored and this is not Star Wars. Those are not <laughs> lightsabers. Who is that Mel Gibson? Is this Braveheart? <laughs> I do believe we do have some pics running around. <laughs> okay. Anyways, that was way longer than I thought. There's the vacation <laughs> update. <laughs> Either I'm moving at super speed. Well, obviously we're seeing light reflect in real time, so <laughs> the effects aren't terrible here. We saw the flash. Ah. Um, It'll so, never get old for me, by the way. I know, right? That's, that's, now I understand how annoying I am. <laughs> uh, so, uh, okay. You said it, not me. I know. Uh, DC is the flash. Real quick, we did watch Batman 89 a couple days before, uh, just because we haven't seen it in a while. I think it might be the first time I've watched it all the way through. And still a good movie with a great score and great, uh, mm -hmm. ben, uh no, Michael Keaton. Mm -hmm. Um, so anyways, <laughs> we're gonna do this with no spoilers, which is gonna be hard, oh, even yeah, though the internet right. has already spoiled the shit out of everything, because, hey, don't be a fucking dick. Just because you don't like something doesn't give you the right to spoil it for other people. Also, keep your fucking phone in your pocket. Stop whipping that shit out and filming shit in theaters. All right. The discourse over this movie is fucking ridiculous. Mm -hmm. It's fine if you don't like it. That's fine. But some of y'all are just really terrible people. I'm not necessarily speaking to my audience, but whew. Um, Cause hey, listen, you didn't like it, fine. You, maybe some of you have some valid reasons, fine. You can't stand Ezra Miller or the way he performs his character, fine. Um, you know, all that kind of stuff. Uh, you want to complain about the visual effects? Yeah, although we'll talk about that in a minute. But you know what? I fucking loved this movie. <laughs> I loved every fucking second of it. And I had high expectations. And for me, this is what I want in my comic book movies. I, I have to say, I did have a good time. Uh, the, uh, uh, <laughs> and I, I know people are saying like, uh, you know, it's like it, it kind of bombed at the box office, but. I wouldn't it, say bombed, but it, but it did underperform. Uh, compared to how much they put into it. Uh, but at the same time, it's like, how many fucking blockbuster movies are coming out this summer? Because if we weren't us, we would see maybe two or three of them. Right. And everything is <laughs> underperforming financially right now because it is very busy it's right a, now. It is a crowded field. Mm -hmm. um, so that said, uh, I will say one of the reasons I think this movie worked very, very well for me is if you know my history and everything, I, I have a great dad, I had a great mom, and my mom passed like 15 years ago, so I, you know, you don't gotta throw sympathy, I, I, I live with it now. But my mom passed away uh, suddenly like 15 years ago. And again, um, you know, if it was going to happen, the way everything happened was kind of the best it could. Everything was quick, 
nothing long drawn out and all that. Um, so I really connected on the Barry and the mom stuff mm -hmm. and like it really destroyed me by the end of the movie in that regard. Like, so I think that worked for me a lot more than it would work for people that don't have that experience because I totally, I didn't You think, are in the perfect place to sympathize. Yeah, I didn't think I would get emotional, actually. but just that idea of like getting that one more moment, like, okay, so that's all I'm gonna say there because I'm yeah, not in the mood to cry. Yeah, I think <laughs> you, you, you go past sympathy into empathy. Yeah, yeah. But then that said, um, I really liked how smoothly they handled two uh, flashes in this. Yeah. Um, and I like the differences of his of their performance. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm getting, I, for, I forget, I'm trying to get the right pronouns in, but um, I'm not supposed to apologize, I'm supposed to correct to move on. Uh, but I thought they did a great job and I really enjoyed them. Keaton was amazing. Mm -hmm. uh, I loved every bit of what he did in this movie and I would love more. And the big surprise for me was how much I loved Supergirl in this. I didn't think I wasn't gonna, there was no reason for me to think I was gonna dislike her or anything. I thought, yeah, it should be cool, but you know, I don't know how big a deal she's gonna be in this movie, but I thought she was incredible. And honestly, I would take a whole movie with her as Supergirl and watch the hell out of that. Cause she really stole like every scene she's in. Um, and made me care very quickly. Yeah, about so I can't say I know anything about the actress other than uh, Same. they interviewed her they had an interview of her uh, on the local news last night for some reason, but, but it's one of those things where she was clearly on the junket. Right, okay. Uh, and so like, apparently she used to be a soap opera star. Hmm. Okay. I don't know how that plays into anything, but. A lot of people come from there, yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, it's just like, didn't know anything, but it's just like going like, can, you know, and she she wasn't given a whole lot, but what she had, she ran with. And... Yeah, and she was given enough. Like, it's not like you feel there needed to be more or less. Like, I think everything was perfectly balanced in the way the story was told. Mm -hmm. We had just the right amount of everything. And even, like, speaking to uh, Michael Shannon, the turn, because it's in trailers, as Zod, mm -hmm. um, and he did have that little interview recently where he was like, well, it felt definitely different. You know, like, doing Man of Steel felt like I was doing something personal and had something to say, and this just felt like I was just a thing in the way. And it's like, well, yeah, once you see the story structure, yeah, that's kind of what yeah. is happening. So I get why he feels that way. And I don't think he's wrong. I don't think the movie, I think the movie played it just right. Yeah. Um, basically, you are meant to be the unstoppable force. Right. And that's all you need to be. And there are, he's not the only villain. There, I will say there is some other stuff going on. You probably have some idea of this. And um, I really like how they explain the multiverse thing in this, mm -hmm. their, their analogy and who does it. I'm not gonna tell you any of that, but all of that I thought was a pretty brilliant way of explaining it and how they explain how what Nexus events are mm -hmm. and all that and how some things are and some things aren't. Yeah. So I thought that was really cool and I really like what they did here and um, I hear some people's complaints and again, I'm not saying they're wrong, everybody's opinion, it's an opinion, so it's fine, You're, it's right to you. But I have heard a lot of people say, the action scene at the end is just a mess and all over the place. And I'm like, really? Because I thought, I had no trouble following it and I thought it was rather brilliantly executed. I can see both sides of that argument. Like maybe if you're honest. just not that coherent or, or comfortable with multiverse kind of things and alternate realities and timelines, okay. like there, maybe then it gets a little confusing, but I'm just so, I, I understood that long before okay. it became a big thing in movies. So. I think what a, a lot of it might be is that the way they depict the multiverse within the Speed Force. Okay. Sure. Because uh, there's a lot that goes on and it's, some, it's stuff that you're not really used to looking at and there's a lot to look at and you can be kind of like, oh God, where am I supposed to be looking at right this second? Yeah. And, it's one of those things like I wouldn't again it's kind of like uh through the spire verse there's are parts that I wouldn't mind watching again on like half speed or something just yeah. so I can actually kind of see like three or four or five layers back you know yeah no and I'm with you on that I just I don't and, get it and, I love that action scene I thought yeah, and you you were allowed to love it and I can also see where a lot of people would, are wrong are exactly just couldn't quite wrap around their minds around it fast enough. Yeah, we're just smarter than everybody. That's just the problem. Just Professor Big Brain's over here. I'm joking. Mostly. Um, <laughs> um, but I will say also too, because uh, we didn't actually touch on the opening action sequence, which is 
awesome. And everything it's, I want a comic awesome. book movie. It's hilarious. It's fun. It's, it's hilarious. You're seeing oh superheroes God. not hating being superheroes, doing superhero things, actually saving people. <laughs> Um, you know, it's not just about punching the more powerful god until they're dead. Like, it's actual hero shit. And, and it's... And it's joyous. <laughs> and it also shows you how much <clears throat> finesse goes into being the Flash. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it does a real good job of that, actually. Because... The thinking, the thought process, the kind of mental gymnastics and math of how am I going to handle this impossible situation. And, and the fact that this is like, oh. I can't just yank something because right. it's not a living thing because that would be bad for the living thing. Yeah, and then like fuel, like his fuel, <laughs> like he, he will run out of energy and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. All of that was beautifully so, found. So basically it's a perfect way to set up everything that happens later on God, spoilers. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you gotta I can't, do dance carefully, yeah. There, basically, there's gonna be a point where you, you see how important all that stuff is. Yeah, it all it all has a reason to be there. Nothing's frivolous. And then in that same action scene, you get one of the you get the best Batfleck you're ever gonna get, uh, unfortunately probably. Um, we all know he's pretty much out now. But yeah. um, like it is just an insanely exciting, relentless Batman. And like, mm -hmm. again, you see the strategies at play and stuff. And even Batman, no big spoiler, but saves people. <laughs> now granted, I think Batman probably caused a little bit more destruction. You could probably argue, oh, I don't, I don't know how those people, I bet then again, he didn't really cause it per se. He just didn't necessarily stop it. <laughs> you know, so, so there is still some Batman in there, but. The, the, Barry has some, some comments about how Batman handles things. Yeah. He's kind of like, Am, 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 I, am I part of this league or am I the janitor? I'm, I'm confused sometimes. Yes. <laughs> so all that stuff, like that whole opening is great. And I will say, yes, there's some CG in this that looks awful. There's a lot of CG. Now some of it, and again, I, I can understand, I can get down with people not liking this because apparently some of it was somewhat intentional. And I didn't know this until I heard, I heard this after. And it makes a lot more sense. It makes me like it more. But the director did... Some of it is not great. And, and what it is, is like the models, the animation and stuff is mm -hmm. fine, but the textures and the lighting feels off. And essentially what they've done is they have done less lighting and reflect, refractive, refract, reflect, reflective? Well, reflective, or but also both of those. <laughs> lighting, you know, and which makes sense when you think about it because the flash is moving faster than the speed of light. So in his vision, light is not going to bounce off people and things the way it does to us and the way our eyes process it because he's seeing it faster than it happens, so they would look a little weird in their lighting and stuff. So I find some brilliance in that, but I can also, I can't, I can't like, uh, I'm not gonna die on that hell of an I, argument. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I feel like the director needs to find himself a, a, a physicist of some renown. And, but then also and it's a comic them, book movie, so I mean, yeah. <laughs> if he really wants to go down the avenue and have them go like, okay, this is this. <laughs> Well, this I think it's honestly like that. just that's also part of how CG works is one of like, as uh, human skin got better, it was because they knew how to reflect, refract, refract and reflect and all, ref, all the refractions. Light. Yeah, they, they, like the subsurface scattering under the particles of the skin. Yeah, they learned all that stuff yeah. and it's all math. So basically saying, well, that doesn't happen because of the timing. And so, so, so I can get down with that, but I totally get it. I, I feel if, like... If that took you out, but... But the same... No, there's some places where that's... Not an excuse they can use, but <laughs> sure. I don't necessarily remember seeing what she said, but I mean, you know, who knows? Um, I, I don't. I do not not believe her. But at the same time, I feel like you know, if that's a choice you made, I probably would not have made that choice because uh, unless you spell it out for the audience at some point, they're just going to think it's bad CGI. Yeah, I, I will agree with that. I was going to say that idea may have landed better if they somehow could have brought it up in a conversation. Uh, and there was a way they could have actually done that because somebody could have been like... Oh yeah, well yeah. we know, we know, listen, you know there's two, this. No, no this is okay, I'm okay. gonna help you with this. Um, you know, you've seen the trailers, you okay. know there's two flashes, okay? There's two berries. So there, and one of those berries is learning. So yeah. you could have so, easily so had that like, conversation. Like, why does what? everybody look so weird? Yeah. Yeah, they could have they could have thrown that in. Yeah. And that, it could have even not been an explanation. It could have been like, well, listen, the way the light bounces off, you, you know, we don't have time for this. You know, like they could have cut the explanation yeah. short. It's, it's just the way light moves when you are moving faster yeah. than light. Okay? We're moving faster than light, so yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, I, okay <laughs> <what happened? laughs> Sorry. I know he was annoying to a lot of people, but I goddamn I, loved 
I love the fact that Mary. I love the fact that they kind of address that. <laughs> yeah, and they totally address the annoyingness. I love that element of it too. So <laughs> the way they do it is like, yep. Yeah. 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 <laughs> now, without getting too spoilery, um, there's like kind. Of, it feels like it's a post scene, but there's sort of an end to this movie that I want to hint around. And then there's definitely a post credit scene. Um, but the end of this movie about blew my damn mind, and I love it. And I don't know how much I can actually talk. I'm going to think it out as I talk here. But apparently this confuses a lot of people why this happened. But I honestly, the more I'm thinking about this, I don't know if I can even really approach this subject. Are, are you talking about like- A the, certain the, reveal. Okay, before the credits actually start. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, there's no way you can talk that because- It the really, reason why it gives way too big of a plot point. Simple, yeah. yeah. But I mean, it, it makes sense. It was it was spelled out in, in the movie or why that particular thing may have happened. Also, um, as soon as he's on the phone, I realize, oh, wait a minute, that's, a thing's gonna happen. <laughs> so, uh, and then what thing happened about blew my goddamn mind, mm -hmm. and I'm very excited to see where we go forward with this. Uh, and then the, we had a post scene. Then we had the post scene, which again, a lot of people are like, well, that was pointless and had nothing to do with anything, and I'm like- post or mid? Did we I have think it post was post-post. Post. I think there was only the one, but okay. um, anyways, it, again, pay attention. Things were said in that scene that are very important for us to understand, or you know, for those of us that are really into these things, to understand how some of this stuff is going to work going forward in terms of James Gunn's new unified universe. Of some things are going to be reset, some things are going to continue over, some things like the dialogue going on in that scene, while played all for laughs and there's a whole comedy thing going on, is actually rather important. <laughs> it does say some important things. So I quite appreciated it. I had a good time. I'm terribly excited going forward. I hate to see that this thing is <laughs> underperforming and that so many people are just ripe to shit on it. Uh, and again, that's fine. To each their own, everybody gets to have their own opinion. I can, I I'm can. glad, at the end of the day, I'm glad I got to see it before anybody else soured my, my enjoyment and that I got to have the experience I had with that movie. It was a wonderful time for me. Yeah, and maybe it'll be one of those things where you, you have all the trolls up front, but enough people get kind of curious that it's like, okay, maybe once things calm down a little bit, I'll go see it, but yeah. not opening weekend. And then without getting, yeah, I agree. And then without getting too into it, because I don't want to spoil this despite the fact everybody's spoiling it, there are some really cool, at least to us, they were surprises. There were mm -hmm. things I had hoped we would get to see that we got to see and then some. <clears throat> And there's one in particular that is just the coolest damn thing ever. <laughs> but I will agree with uh, with uh, Doug over on Channel Awesome. I, I think the way it was revealed, it needed, to, they kind of, if you knew, you knew immediately, but it took an extra minute before the full reveal. And I feel like it was, you wanted to pop at the start of it, but like they needed that full reveal first so you could really just immediately pop at it. It's, Cause I was sitting there like, wait a minute, is that, oh my God, are they actually, and then do we, will we get to see it? And then like, it takes a second, and then you see it, and you're like, yeah, but it's like, you know, so. Yeah, <laughs> I, I have a thought on that, but I don't know if it, I don't know if I can do it without being spoiled. Yeah, I'm so. really dancing light on this. So I, 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 will, I will tell you afterwards. Okay, fair enough. But anyways, I had a blast with it. I want to see it again uh, many times. Uh, it's a shame it's not in 3D. I feel like it would have been pretty cool in 3D. I think it, they, I think there were no 3D versions no, anymore. No 3D. Not just. I know Regal likes to screw this over in 3D. Well, 3D, they don't do 3D IMAX, but they usually, if there's a 3D, they have a 3D screen going, but no, sad. Uh, Anyways, I loved it. I want more. I, I'm excited for where James Gunn's going. I'm actually excited now uh, for Aquaman's sequel, and uh, I was already excited for Blue Beetle. And they have said that Blue Beetle is officially the first actual movie yeah, in the James Gunn Gunniverse, so. Very but exciting. it was filmed before James Gunn took over, so right. But so he's so probably it's a, gonna be a weird grayish thing. I'm gonna say it's probably standalone enough, and then maybe James came in and said, "Can we make a couple of tweaks so that you know this will this will tie in yeah. where we're going?" At worst, that's what happened. I think that's basically probably what we should expect. Mm -hmm. But I think that'll be a good time, and then we'll move on to the big boys. Superman mm -hmm. Legacy, baby. That's not until like 2025. That sounds about right. And that's, well, actually I think the writer's strike is, I think, cause he, he had multiple drafts and finished yeah. before the strike started. So I've, they are in pre-production. Yeah. And also I feel like, you know Ooh. what, it, DC could take a couple of years and it, it, cause if, since we're, we're doing a little bit of a reboot. Some people have said this, yeah. yeah. I, I mean, I understand because I do think part of, there's, I think there's a lot of reasons the Flash is underperforming. 
like a crowded box office, the dislike of Ezra Miller, um, you know, all that kind of stuff. There's but a I, lot of superhero burnout too. Well, was, well I, don't, I don't believe in that because when one is great, it still does well. Look at Spider-Verse, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Um, so I don't think it's that. I think with the DC stuff particularly, it's just, I think WB burned the audience just one time too many. And it's hard, it's gonna be a very difficult road, especially now that I hear so many people didn't like The Flash. It's gonna be a very difficult road to regain that trust and get people to get excited about going back to the theater. Mm -hmm. So there really is a lot of pressure on James Gunn to just, and I know, it's James Gunn, it's gonna be great, but they are going to have to swing and knock that sucker out of the park to get people back on board. Yeah. Um, and then they did announce too, the director of The Flash will be directing Batman Brave and the Bold the new Batman movie, mm -hmm. so uh, that's in the universe, which I'm very, very excited for. And boy, do I have questions. But And I know they're still working on the other Batman, too. Well, yeah, 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 they, they are doing multiverse stuff, so we have yeah. uh, more Robert Pattinson Batman, and we have Joker, too, that are not mm -hmm. tied into the DC universe, but they're gonna yeah. be great. They're gonna so, be great. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, all right, that was our overly long uh, <laughs> review of The Flash, so I'm sorry. Listen, if you, did, if you could not get on board and you couldn't find the enjoyment I did, I'm sorry for you. Uh, and uh, you know, and for those of you that didn't hate it, but you aren't spoiling it for people, and you aren't mad at people for enjoying it, thank you. Again, uh, <laughs> I, I think it's pretty much like almost anything else you go to watch at movies. If you go in wanting to have a good time, you will probably have a good time. Yeah, you gotta let if yourself. If you go in with a shit attitude, you will find a bajillion things to pick apart. Yeah, you go in like, all right, movie, what do you got? You're Probably not going to have fun. I said, hey, at that point, you're setting yourself up for failure. Unless yeah. hate watching is your goal. Yeah, which honestly, and I mean this with love, but if you, if you, if you, if your majority of what you do is hate watching things, my channel included, uh, you should probably consider talking to a professional because you, you probably have some issues you may not even know you have, and it could be some simple change you could make in your mentality or your life that suddenly opens you up to a whole world of happiness you've never experienced. Sometimes it is literally just one simple change of thought, you know, so, doesn't hurt. All right. But again, that's not everybody. Listen, some of you just really don't like it and you have very valid reasons too. So again, I'm not saying you can't not, you can't like it, you know what I'm saying? Just uh, string. Oh, it's grass. <laughs> yeah, you can. <laughs> <laughs> As some f cat parent stuff. I'm it's like, cat what does the cat have? What does the cat have? <laughs> okay. Seriously though, I gotta go. Oh my god, it's so late. We are not. Mm, I don't even know if we'll do guacamole tonight. <laughs> I don't have to shower tonight. Vlog. Yeah, but you gotta go. You gotta go. Okay. Bye. Bye. What are we doing? Vodka gimlet. Oh yeah, I was gonna make hot dogs. I'm playing it up. All right, so uh, <laughs> we're gonna try a vodka gimlet. I ran out of time to find a really good idea. We've never tried this. This is pretty simple. Uh, it's vodka, lime juice, and simple syrup. So I don't know if I'm gonna make a single or a double. So what I'm gonna do is we got three ingredients and we're gonna put it in a shaker. If there is an ounce of simple syrup in here, I'm making a double. If it's closer to half an ounce, we'll just make a stupid single. Because <laughs> then we have like the eight ounce jar of this too, but I bet you that's an ounce. So let's see if I can get a whole ounce out of there. Because this was just the overflow. You know what? Oh, nope, I'm wrong. Just a half ounce? It's a little over half an ounce. All right, we'll make a stupid single. Oh, poor baby. Like stupid normal people. <laughs> and then uh, half an ounce of simple syrup, it's a little over. We'll go half an ounce of lime juice. We'll go a little over too. We'll just make this maybe a little heavy. There we go, that seems proportionately over. I guess I can do a Cooper Libre or something. That's not how you do a Cooper Libre, I learned. All right, so we're gonna put that in there. We want two ounces of vodka. Oh, that's right, it's a new one. That's why it's a little slippery. I haven't broken the seal yet. Okay. We'll go a little heavy just to kind of match with everything else. Glurg. You get some ice up in this motherfucker. And I don't have gimlet glasses, so we're using a regular martini glass. One, two, three, four. Is it a gimlet glass and martini glass? No, a gimlet is like a smaller. Look, look. That is a gimlet glass. It's smaller oh, and more. I have those. 
didn't show me the picture. You didn't ask. <laughs> okay. I asked. I expected you to know these things. You're my bartender queen. All right, we give it a shake. That's because that's what a gimlet glass is. All right, that should be good. Nice and frosty. I don't know why there's this pink. I think it's just the background. It's like there's nothing in here that would should give it any color. Background and maybe a little frostiness on the glass itself. Yeah. That's why it's the red background turned pink, yeah. Get all that booze. <laughs> and we has the vodka gimlet. Looks cool. Not a lot of smell, but my maybe clogged. Pretty good. Tastes like sugar and lime. Maybe a little alcoholic because I didn't get my balance just right. But not bad. I can't say I love it and want to recreate it per se, but it's tasty. I'm not gonna have any problem drinking it. Mm -hmm. If you drink a shot, you'll drink almost all of it. Ha 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 ha. Yeah, you know, I'll get your headband out of the shot. Oh, oh, I'll go with it. Okay. Right, like, I mean, it's drinkable, it's good, but it's not necessarily anything to write home about. Well, if I, it's not, now I know it's like, if I see a gimlet, I'm probably going to be okay with it. Yeah, I mean, it is a vodka gimlet. I don't know if that makes a difference. I think it's like martinis, like you have gin gimlets too. That's possible. Maybe we'll have to try a gin. I'll have to try a gin gimlet because I like gin. You don't. Mm -hmm. But, uh, all right. Kind of a, yeah. Cool. 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 <laughs> cool. Cool. <laughs> She's in the upside down. <laughs> I will be after a few more of these. All right, so there you have it. That was this vlog. We've actually done everything now except the cocktail. So I'm, you know, I just want to get this put together. It's like 9.30 already. So thank you, everybody. Thank you for joining us. Hopefully you enjoyed that. Hey, it was steak. Ooh, oh my God, that steak was so good. I need to do that again. That butter was so good. You're going to see that butter come into play on a future vlog, something else too. But uh, man, that steak. And now, oh, yeah, I know you haven't seen that yet. I have a, I have a way to do the steak better now maybe or at least i learned some things to do it better so that'll be cool but hopefully you enjoyed all that hopefully you enjoyed all the reviews and everything and hopefully you're having a good time here and thank you for joining us and of course we'll be back next week with some more stuff because i'm still cooking like crazy and uh love y'all so thank you comment below can't wait to hear what you have to say other than that and give the thumbs of encouragement as we do love to be encouraged and remember that we will get through this we will get through this together you can check out my music anywhere you listen to music. Look up Eric Butts or go to Spotify. That's where it helps you the most. You can also go to ericbutts.com and, um, you know, do all that stuff uh, there. Lots of links. Funky butt stuff. That's what you like. And, of course, feel free to use, like, a super chat or a donation link or whatever and give me another, like, $900 so we can do another RIP night. I probably shouldn't have said that. <laughs> I really want to do RIP twice. I cannot justify spending that myself, though. Unless y'all want to just donate. Somebody rich out there wants, you know, you want, you want, uh, you want the vlog to show more? I mean, maybe. I'm kidding. Oh, well, I'm not kidding, but I'm kidding. You know what? I'm just going to get out of here. Hey, there's more stuff in the content. <laughs> more links, ways to support the channel down below. So click see more button, see more butts. Right, I'm going to get out of here before I get myself in trouble with my stupid words. And I'll see you all. I love y'all. Later.